This guy went live on Instagram, clearly looking for trouble. Right from the start, he was in a bad mood, filled with aggressive comments and bravado. Yo, they Stay outside, fool. He immediately challenges someone to come outside, setting the tone for a confrontation. He claims he's been in front the whole time, taunting the other person by calling them scary and accusing them of being the police, creating an awkward back and forth. He shot and he missed. Then comes the moment everyone was waiting for. He fires shots into the air. It's chaotic, and you can hear the shock in the voices around him. He allegedly missed his target and drove away, leaving everyone stunned. The live stream starts with the guys engaging their audience, counting out loud, and having a great time. But then, things take a serious turn. As the excitement builds, the host casually discusses money and counting stacks. Suddenly, the mood shifts dramatically, and panic creeps into his voice. You hear distress and confusion as it becomes clear he's being robbed live on camera. The disbelief and fear are palpable, serving as a chilling reminder of how quickly things can turn dangerous, especially while broadcasting to the world. The video starts with Daylit, clearly agitated, confronting an unknown individual who has followed him home. You can feel the tension in his voice. So if I let off on you right now, you die right here. I, no, I'm really not playing, my He expresses concern about the person showing up at his house, emphasizing the seriousness of the situation. Daylit warns that he's armed and that if things escalate, it could end badly. I found out where I live and came and sat in front. It's weird, dog. That's weird though, you don't come, it don't matter, I, if I take a picture anywhere, you don't- He repeatedly highlights how strange this behavior is, stressing that following someone home crosses a line. This kind of situation can be incredibly alarming, especially for someone in the public eye. The live stream starts with Gideon calmly chatting with police officers who inform him that he's under arrest. The seriousness of the situation is evident. Put you in handcuffs. Okay. Is it cool if I get a thumbnail? A who? A thumbnail? Before you put the handcuffs on? Well, I'll, I'll let you do that once we get to the station, okay bud? Okay. As the officer prepares to cuff him, Gideon tries to lighten the mood, asking if he can get a thumbnail before the handcuffs go on. This moment showcases his personality, even in a tough spot. No, it's not your fault, it's all good. It's old. So, I don't have a choice. It's all good. Here, hold on. Despite the circumstances, Gideon stays composed and humorously acknowledges his predicament, reminding us of his connection with his audience, even during serious times. The officer reassures him that it's not his fault and they're just doing their job, and Gideon seems to get it despite his frustration. The stream begins with I show speed engaging with his audience and talking to another person. He seems to be in high spirits until things take a dangerous turn. And then it happens. I show speed shoots the firearm. You can hear his friends react in disbelief. He quickly goes from joking to firing a weapon, shocking everyone watching. He just shot the gun. Oh, he just shot the gun. Oh, y'all fried. As the situation unfolds, you can feel the chaos. I show speed is shocked clearly realizing the gravity of what he's just done. It's a tense moment that left viewers stunned. The stream kicks off with a visibly agitated man using explicit language and expressing his frustration. A nearby woman tries to calm him down, but tensions are clearly high. What do you want to do? Puss ass cracker, bro. As he yells, the situation escalates when he demands the woman to come to him. His anger is palpable indicating he's not in a good state of mind. Meanwhile, police officers attempt to intervene, wanting to take the woman away for her safety, which only fuels the man's frustration. Rachel, come here! Rachel, come here! Put your hands in the air! Rachel, come here! Come here! Things take a drastic turn as the man becomes increasingly erratic, leading to a shootout between him and the police. 
The sound of bullets rings out and chaos ensues. Even as officers call for him to surrender, he screams for Rachel, desperately seeking her attention amid the turmoil. Sean Reed is in a police chase, and instead of laying low, he's recording himself bragging about evading the cops. Talk about risky behavior, he's living life on the edge, but little does he know the edge is about to get a lot sharper. During the chase, Sean ditches his car and tries to make a run for it. But here's where it gets intense. An officer fires 14 shots. That escalated quickly, right? It's a tragic moment that leaves everyone shaking their heads. High-speed chases like this don't just endanger the driver. They put everyone around them at risk. A guy hops out of his car and tells someone to stay right there. You can feel the tension in the air as he starts walking, then suddenly breaks into a run. You just know something is about to happen. Out of nowhere, we hear three gunshots ring out. It's chaotic, and you can almost feel your heart race as you wonder what's happening. It's a moment that sends chills down your spine. After the shots are fired, he places his phone at an angle above, leaving us all in suspense. We don't know what happens next. Did he get hit? Is he okay? The unanswered questions just add to the shock of the moment. You won't believe this wild story unfolding in real time on Instagram Live. This guy is driving around, live streaming on Instagram and talking about another dude in a different car. <laughs> He's running the then, out of nowhere, he pulls out his firearm and shouts at the other driver, asking what he wants. It's a shocking twist that takes everyone by surprise. Who the f are you? He speeds off, and you can hear that engine roaring like a beast. But just when you think he's going to let it go, things go from 0 to 100 real quick. He suddenly fires his weapon. Gunshots ring out, and you can feel the intensity through the screen. What starts as a seemingly normal drive can turn into a life-threatening encounter in the blink of an eye. This guy, Gully, is chilling at home when suddenly the police show up. He's clearly in a state of panic, scrambling to find a towel and some clothes. It's a scene that sets the tone for what's about to unfold. Keep coming down. There's clothes in the living room. Let me Keep get dressed, down. man. Keep coming down. Keep coming down. Let me get dressed. Look, Keep I'm dressed. Down. I'm dressed. Let me Stop get dressed. Stop there. Stop there. Oh, my God. Stop. I'm mad. Take two steps forward. Take. As the officers call out to him, you can feel the tension in the air. Gully pleads to get him dressed first. He's clearly trying to keep his cool, but the officers are not messing around. Okay, I'm this is moving. exactly what I'm saying. Put I'm the phone moving. on that radiator. Put the phone on the radiator. Do not make any sort of move. Put your hands on. Things take a serious turn when they inform him that he's under arrest. The gravity of the situation hits hard, and you can see Gully's demeanor shift as he realizes what's happening. The officers instruct him to move slowly, hands on his head, and the intensity escalates. You can hear the strain in their voices as they maintain control of the scene. Picture this. This guy is streaming on Facebook Live, just chilling and chatting with his followers when suddenly his car gets carjacked. The shock on his face is priceless, and you can tell he's completely taken off guard. Get out of the car. 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 Damn, I'm not playing. I swear to God, I'm not playing. On the ground. He's so stunned that he leaves his phone behind. And guess what? It's still recording. Not only does it capture the chaos of the moment, but it also catches a clear view of the carjacker's face. Talk about a double-edged sword. It's you behind us. Oh, and here's the kicker. By leaving that phone behind, he inadvertently seals the fate of the criminal. The footage captures everything, and now the authorities have a clear image of the suspect. Let's be real, this guy just signed up for a guaranteed 15 years in prison. Up next, we're diving into some serious beef that went down on Instagram Live featuring none other than this famous rapper. Why did you pull that gun out with on yourself? You ain't even in the hood happened to you surely that's cap, man. yo bro I'm, I'm all there, bro. the rapper is live and things get heated fast he's arguing with someone and honestly it's hard to tell what the heck they're even beefing about 
Is it about music? Is it personal? Who knows? But you can feel the tension rising. You come by yourself, right? Amidst the chaos, the other guy pulls out a firearm. Yes, you heard that right. He shows it off during the stream, and you can just imagine how that escalates the situation. This guy is live, flexing stacks of cash like he's in a rap video. He counts bills, showing off his hard work, when suddenly he hears the unmistakable voice of SWAT asking him to open the door. Panic flashes across his face. It's priceless. Just like that, the mood shifts. You hear the commotion as the SWAT team starts banging on his door, and you know things are about to get real. It's a tense moment that makes you wonder, is this guy really prepared for what's about to happen? As the door crashes open, the SWAT team storms in, and chaos ensues. They inspect the room while our guy stands in shock. Can you imagine? One moment, you're showing off your cash, and the next, you're staring down a SWAT officer. Just when you think it can't get any crazier, the live stream ends with a SWAT team member taking his phone. Watch this live of rapper Lee Duo. He catches a homeboy stealing his wallet, and this happens. I just needed some dollars. You didn't ask. I feed you, round. I'm blood. I come pick you up when you suck. Lee Duo is not having it. He confronts his friend right then and there. You can see the shock in his eyes. How could you do this to your friend? As they go back and forth, Lee Duo is spitting some serious truth. And honestly, I'm here for this energy. This is real life drama at its finest. My round, you with me every day. So it's like, you know my character. You know the principles I stand on. It don't make, it, it, it don't even matter. I'm blood. One minute, they're best friends. And the next, they're on live arguing about theft. You've got to love how Lee Duo is trying to figure out what to do next. Like, it's not just a theft, it's a full-blown confrontation happening live. What a way to air out dirty laundry. We got this guy who's all hyped up, ready to confront his opponent in the middle of traffic. Pull up, motherfucker! I don't care, but pull up, pull up, pull up, come on! Yeah! 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 Mm-hmm! He warned him that if he pulled up on anything other than a fight, he better be ready. The tension is real right from the jump. So he jumps out of his car, all pumped up, trying to face off with the guy in the other car. Come on. Hi. But just when you think they're about to throw down, guess what happens? Our guy realizes things are about to get serious. He bolts back to his car and grabs a firearm. You can see the other guy's panic as he realizes what's happening. Instead of standing his ground, he just takes off running. And the driver, he doesn't even wait. He speeds off and leaves his friend behind. Two gang members, KTS Dre and Cutthroat Royal, face off as Dre challenges Royal to prove his street credibility and take real action. KTS Dre calls out Cutthroat Royal for being all talk online instead of showing real street action. Dre, fresh out of jail, challenges Royal to step up and prove himself. Dre highlights his own violent past and mocks Royal for being too scared. For Dre, respect is earned through real deeds, not empty words. This clash shows the harsh side of street life, where talk means little without action. Dre wants Royal to either prove himself or step aside. This exchange shows the intense side of street life, where words are challenges and respect is on the line. It started as just another Instagram live, with a gang member showing off his money. He sits in his car, holding a stack of cash, talking confidently to the camera. He's laughing, calling others lame, and saying they don't make money like he does. The gang member keeps repeating that he always has money on him, flashing the cash in front of the camera. Suddenly there's a change in his tone. The laughter stops and the camera shakes. There's a noise in the background and he looks nervous. Then a gunshot is heard. The screen goes black for a moment, but when the video comes back, the camera shows the outside of the car. Lying on the ground next to the car, there's a body. 
Check out this heated live argument between Spider-D and Gieski. Watch as tensions rise and accusations fly. You I can't say shit. Oh, man, man. You I can't, can't nigga ask me oh, shit. You can't, can't say, say nigga that. ask me shit. Can't say shit. That's why you shit. Hey, that's, that's why he's That's why he's During the live stream, Spider-D and Gieski are having a major clash. Spider-D defends himself, saying that he never said the things Gieski is accusing him of. Spider-D argues that Gieski is causing drama because he doesn't have much of a fan base. He insists that there's no real story or conflict between them and questions why Gieski is making such a fuss. Nigga, you don't know me. Break it down to beef. Folks them beef don't do know you. Folks them don't you know you. To me? Folks what them do don't know you. You were not front what line. You was not As the argument continues, the argument turns personal. Both Spider-D and Gieski show their anger and confusion. They exchange accusations and challenge each other's credibility. Man gets robbed while smoking and showing money on Instagram Live. Make a pussy nigga carry verse on the AI. My fiend say you want a black dog. Turn shop, put in a boy six and big red. Where that money at? Where the fuck you just talking A man is on Instagram Live, enjoying a smoke and proudly showing off his cash. He's relaxing in his car, thinking everything is just fine. But the live stream attracts an unwanted visitor. A robber notices the display of wealth and sees an opportunity. I need to trick more. Hey, I got a drug problem. Ten on me now. I'm just at Home Depot Rug Shop. I'm busy seeing there. I get her fire to go scrub shopping. I smoke a quarter pound a day, bro. The robber approaches the car, brandishing a firearm. With a sudden movement, the robber aims the firearm at the man's neck, causing him to panic. Under threat, the man hands over the money. The robber grabs it and quickly flees the scene. After the robber is gone, the man takes a moment to calm down before driving away. In this intense Instagram live session, Chark and Snapdog exchange heated words and threats, escalating their online feud to new heights. You ain't got no fan pages. You shut the whole no fan pages, bro. I'm done with you, bro. You, hey, I'm done with you. You can have The screen shows a split view of Chark and Snapdog on Instagram live both looking frustrated and ready for a confrontation. In this heated Instagram live session, Chark and Snapdog find themselves in a fierce verbal showdown. I'm gonna come to you. First, I'm gonna, show you, how, I'm, first, I'm gonna show you how I can get Cause then you just had your mans on live talking crazy, right? See your brains uh, right there? You see say, your brains? You say he in Atlanta, right? Tensions are high as both men exchange insults and threats, each trying to prove they're tougher than the other. They keep going back and forth, with Snapdog asking if Chark is too scared to fight. As the argument continues, it's clear that both Chark and Snapdog are ready to settle this fight in person. In this live video, Cameron, aka Thesenflow on Instagram, is pulled over by the police. All right, I'm, I'm, I want to work with you. All right, I'm, yeah. I'm asking if you got any. I'm telling you, I don't got no weed, bro. Okay, but I can smell it, so I don't All understand. Right. The officer mentions he can smell marijuana, but Cameron quickly responds, saying it's just legal CBD, which you can buy at a gas station. Cameron argues that the smell alone isn't enough for the officer to search the car. He explains that CBD is legal and not a valid reason for a search. K9, have him spin it, and that's how we gonna go, and I'm gone. Okay. You can write me the ticket not, for I'm speed. Not, listen, guys, I'm not trying to I know, that's okay. cool. I'm telling you how it's gonna go. Like, come on, let's do Cameron insists that the officer should use a K9 unit to check if there's any illegal substance in the car. He states he knows his rights and won't allow a search without proper cause. He also mentions that his lawyer has informed him about his rights and he's sticking to them. Here's a look at a heated argument between Spider and Damo that took place live on Instagram. Let's see what went down. Ari was in the club on my B-Day, on Drake's hole. On Drake's hole. Then you lied on this dead ass little boy that got his ass smoked. You lied on this nigga, nigga. I never saw you in the club. Spider and Damo clearly do not see eye to eye. The conversation is all over the place, jumping from topics like clubs and martial arts to personal hobbies. It's clear they're both very frustrated. Nigga, when I see one, listen, not on, on the internet, I can't believe you lying. On BD, I, I know a scary bitch ass see one. You just told me I was at two clubs, now you said I was at three clubs, now you said I was at four. I just named three. Spider isn't backing down either. He's making personal jabs and bringing up random names, which only adds to the confusion. The argument gets more intense with repeated shouting and expressions of frustration. There are mentions of people like Osama and Johnny Depp, though it's not clear how they fit into the argument. During the live session, Stunner 4, Veg, and Tusi are showing off their firearms and discussing trades. Yo, show me the real one. I know you want her, that's the 300 blackout. Ooh. Hey, Chuck, show him what this one is. Stunner 4, Veg starts by displaying a 300 blackout and mentions he's ready to trade it. He's excited, but there's some confusion about how well it works. Tusi shows off a 5.7 and an FN, both eager to talk about their firearms. 
Y'all out in the country cutting up. <laughs> at one point, one of the men went outside to test one of the firearms, giving viewers a closer look at its performance. Back inside, they discuss a Glock with a Pro Mag, which is causing problems. The clip keeps jamming, and they warn viewers not to use it. Cutthroat Royal is live on his stream, proudly displaying his money and enjoying the spotlight. His audience is watching, and he's clearly feeling confident. Suburb and not an address, nigga. And you in the uh, and you in the suburbs where the police at? Had like a out there with the police. You know, yeah, you know we don't do suburbs. Meanwhile, Cairo is commenting in the live chat. He's not holding back, throwing insults and trying to stir trouble. Cairo even drops an address in the chat, hinting at where he might be. Cutthroat Royal sees Cairo's comments and becomes visibly agitated. He starts reacting to the insults, getting heated, and making threats. Stop mentioning my brother, playing with my brother now, you Hold on. Cairo keeps pushing, making more disrespectful comments, and challenging Cutthroat Royal. The situation is escalating, and the tension is building. As Cutthroat Royal's live stream continues, the argument with Cairo becomes more intense. Both sides are clearly ready for a confrontation, and the tension is palpable. The live stream starts with a chaotic scene. Two gang members are talking, and their conversation is filled with tension. Better hang on my Hey, they thought they was finna take your own. What happened, gang? Now we gonna talk about it on live. Both gang members are holding their phones and streaming live. Suddenly, gang member one pulls out a firearm and shows it to the camera. Gang member two, not wanting to be outdone, pulls out his own firearm and flashes it on the screen. Uh, what, what did mama say? I, think uh, I don't think he took his face. He probably, he probably can take one of them, not 50 of them. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he can. The tension builds as the live stream continues with both gang members showing their firearms and making threats. On a regular day, Crip Mac decided to go live on Instagram, unaware of what was about to happen. What up, Hey, Mac and all this dead homies. See Mac, bring it out with me, nigga. GBO Gaston pulls out a firearm and shows it on the live stream. GBO Gaston didn't just stop at words. He showed his firearm on the live stream, making it clear that he was serious about the threat. Both GBO Gaston and Crip Mac made multiple references to their gang ties, making the situation even more intense. GBO Gaston kept pushing Crip Mac, daring him to show up and face him, making it clear that this was more than just talk. This intense moment left viewers wondering what would happen next. In this heated encounter, Maftiski and Risky Bands are having a serious dispute. Maftiski is confronting Risky Bands about his behavior and false claims. I'm listening, Officer Terrence. And ah. Officer Marcus, fuck you talking about? Hey, the streets know how I'm coming. You can stop that. Officer Marcus. Maftiski tells Risky Bands that he shouldn't act like he's tough. He says that Risky Bands always boasts about things he never actually did. Maftiski points out that Risky Bands talks a lot and makes big claims, but nothing ever seems to add up. I feel somewhere, bro. Your ass a clown. Hey, what happened to your homie that said they were shooting up there when Fo died? Man, what happened to Fo when Fo died? I didn't do that. He accuses Risky Bands of never doing the things he brags about and questions his credibility. Maftiski makes it clear that he's not impressed and believes that Risky's stories are all talk. Two men are live on Instagram inside a home. The atmosphere is calm and they are casually talking and laughing together. Everything seems normal as they chat and laugh. One of the men calls a woman into the room. She enters, holding a child, and the group shares a laugh. Suddenly, the mood shifts. The two men start arguing about something. In a moment of anger, one of the men pulls out a firearm and shoots near the other man's foot. The woman, scared, runs out of the room with the child. The other man, not backing down, pulls out his own firearm and fires a shot in response. Despite the serious situation, both men start laughing. An Instagram live session is already in progress, with GBO Gaston and another user engaged in a heated argument. Scared of you? Huh? Scared of you? I'm like slightly confused here. Bro, post the address, 
kill you. You gonna come kill me. Tensions are high as GBO Gaston and another user engage in a heated argument, exchanging threats and demanding to know each other's location. Both sides try to intimidate each other while demanding their opponent's location. Alright. Hold on. The argument takes a dangerous turn as GBO Gaston reveals his firearm, determined to find the other person's location and confront him. As the live session progresses, the threats remain unresolved. It starts with the Instagram live feed, where No Limit EBK Juvie and Pocket Town Lil Don are having a tense conversation. The atmosphere is charged, with both participants visibly agitated. Get back, cause nigga, we make that shit happen first. Y'all want us getting back. Hey, what happened to Kendall though? Just tell the world right now what happened to Kendall from Essex. I don't know. In this Instagram Live, tensions run high as No Limit Epk Juvie and Pocket Town Lil Don engage in a heated exchange. The conversation starts with a question that sets the tone for what's to come. Oh, mama's still uh, there. Uh, I don't wanna still there. Is mama still on the scary, That's scary, ain't it? That's scary, ain't it? <laughs> you get mad, y'all. <laughs> Juvie's question seems to reference something that happened earlier, stirring up emotions between the two. Lil Don tries to assert his stance hinting at some unresolved issues between their groups. He makes it clear that they are not the ones to back down. 